What's going on guys, it's Gamer here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be reviewing Dragon Ball Super Episode 91, and the title of this episode is titled, Which Universe Will Survive? The Strongest Warriors Are Gathering. The beginning of the episode basically is, uh, kind of starts off with, uh, Zeno, kind of just playing rock, paper, scissors with the other Zeno, and so they're bored, and then they ask, um, uh, the Grand Priest, that's what he is. Uh, they asked the Grand P Priest, like, what is, like, kind of going on, and he starts basically just showing, uh, Zeno what has been going on in the other universes. So this episode is kind of just a recap of what's happened with, I believe, all 12 universes. I, I honestly don't always remember how many universes there were, but it, it's 12, it's 12. But what happened is, is that it's just, well, like I said, re recapping of what's been happening with all the universes. And so we start off with Goku's universe, Universe 7, and the Grand Priest says, you know, like, they have gathered 10 warriors, basically, and they're ready to fight. But before then, Vegeta is actually going to go train in the Room of Spirit of Time, or the Hyperbolic Time Chamber in the dub. And there, there was kind of like a little funny scene with Popo. And he says, if you break the room again, you're banned. And it kind of zoomed in on his face. Uh, it was, I, I liked it because it reminded me of like Team Four Star with Mr. Popo and, and uh, DBZ Abridged. So I thought it was really funny. And uh, what was really weird is that uh, they go back to Goku and the others uh, over a Capsule Corp. And then uh, Elder Kai actually uh, is recommending to Goku because Goku wanted to train for the time being until the tournament actually starts. And uh, the Elder Kai actually recommended awakening uh, his potential within him. Uh, but then the Supreme Kai was like, that would take too long because that would take like 25 hours. And there's only like a few hours left until the actual tournament, tournament of power actually begins. So that's kind of out of the question. And so he goes ahead and asks Whis to train him and that's kind of just what happens to the rest of that. And then we pan off to a couple of different universes. Uh, I'm kind of gonna, gonna, I'm kind of gonna skip a little bit of those. I'm only gonna really talk about some of the universes that I'm really interested in. And I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward to Universe Six, and we actually uh, get to see a little interaction with uh, Hit and Frost again. Frost, um, for those of you uh, who don't remember what happened to him, he was known as a hero, but then he was actually a, a bad guy and was causing a lot of problems within the actual planets inside the universe of Universe Six. So he's kind of like this vigilante. Well, not vigilante, he's kind of like just this, this bad guy who needs to be stopped and there's kind of like a, like a warrant out for him, I guess. So he's kind of like just hiding out in places, right? Hit shows up uh, and Frost immediately thinks that he's there to kill him. He fights back, of course, because it's Frost and Frost being Frost, he tries to poison Hit with poisonous needles, but he, well, simply can't do it because this is Hit we're talking about. And Hit is basically just saying, like, he has been recruited by the god of destruction, Champa, to participate in the Tournament of Power. So they go ahead and they leave, uh, um, you know, back to wherever uh, Champa is inside the universe. And uh, there was a funny interaction with uh, Muten Roshi, or Master Roshi. Um, Yamcha the whole time. Like, at, like when this whole tournament of, power, tournament of power like thing began, he thought he was going to get an invite to join the actual team, but of course that uh, was inevitably never going to happen. Uh, but what was really funny was that uh, Master Oshi went over to Yamcha's place to ask Poir to transform into a pretty girl so that way he can actually like fix like the perverted thoughts in his mind or whatever. But what happens is, is that, you know, Master Roshi being who he is for many, many years now, he kind of just couldn't control himself. So we kind of side off to a different scene where Goku's training with Whis uh, until the actual tournament of power begins or, this, or the next, you know, big plot thing happens, which we actually got in a couple of uh, spoilers. I, I think I actually talked about it a little bit. Uh, in, my, in my episode 93 spoilers, specifically talking about the return of Frieza. But what was really funny and then what I liked about uh, this whole training scene is that 
Uh, we kind of got to see a little uh, thing that Goku always does when he's fighting, like just whoever he's fighting. And he actually bit Whis when Whis hold him in like a stranglehold like Topo did. And Topo from Universe 7, who's a part of uh, his, little, his little group of heroes. I can't remember their name and I apologize for not remembering. But um, yeah, we kind of skip forward a little bit. Uh, Universe 11 seems like they're they're ready to they're ready to fight in the tournament and stuff like that, but I don't know. Uh, Universe 2, we actually see a little bit of Universe 2, and I don't think we've actually seen anything from them. Uh, but we get a little a sneak preview of what there is for uh, for one of the female fighters from Universe 2. So that, I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, Universe 10, we get to see a little bit of Universe 10 again, and it was really funny. I thought it was really funny because Gowasu is recording uh, the fighters for Universe 10, and the angel uh, of Universe 10 kind of doing a little dance, and they're going to put it on like Space 2 or whatever, and I thought that was, I thought that was really funny. But then the Grand Priest that uh, says that there is a problem that occurred over in Universe 7. And ultimately that problem was, was that uh, Majin Buu fell asleep. He fell asleep and he's not going to wake up for uh, like two months or so. That's what Hercule said. He actually called her, uh, called uh, Bulma, Hercule called uh, Bulma, or Mr. Satan called Bulma, uh, to kind of just let her know that that happened. Bulma walked into the room where they were like kind of thinking up of like a plan or a strategy, mainly Gohan and the Supreme Kai on like, on like a, on like a whiteboard. Oh, my bad. And uh, what happens is that, uh, you know, uh, Goku, he's gonna, he's just like, you know, what, I'm gonna go to Boo's place, try to uh, wake him, wake him up or something at least, just, just, you know, because they need ten fighters. If they don't have ten fighters, then w w what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Honestly, no one knows. And there was a little funny, like, kind of scrap uh, of Beerus getting pissed off at Boo because. Uh, over back then in the martial arts tournament versus Champa, uh, Boo got disqualified by falling asleep in the test exam part of the martial arts tournament versus Champa, and ultimately they had to they had to fight with less fighters than they normally had to, and so we, uh, Beerus, I'm sorry, it was like you know I'm gonna beat the fuck out of him uh, to wake him up, and I thought that was really funny. But uh, ultimately, you know, uh, Majin Buu, uh, from, from the scans and the spoilers that we found out, you know, Majin Buu is not going to wake up. And at the rate of where we're going right now, it kind of does seem like Frieza might actually become part of you know, Universe 7's team. And am I disappointed by it? Uh, no, I'm not disappointed by it. Frieza, uh, by all means, has always been one of my favorite villains. But the fact that he's being like kind of brought back again for like the third or fourth time or some shit, it feels like it feels like uh, I don't know. I don't know. Some people have their own mixed opinions about um, bringing uh, bringing back uh, Frieza again. Personally, I don't really have a, a. Oh, I dropped my controller. I apologize for that. My PS4 controller. Anyways, um, I don't really ultimately have a problem with it, but. Some people do, and I get it. I understand the problem there, but it's whatever. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here because there's pretty much nothing else to talk about the ep in the episode. But I will say that in the next episode, uh, I, f I feel like some stuff might happen with Califla and the other female Saiyan uh, from Universe 6. So I'm actually kind of interested in that. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. And if you actually am, or you actually are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And in the link in the description, I will be linking my Twitch channel. Uh, not after this, not immediately after this video goes up, but probably tomorrow, or de uh, depending on when this video actually goes up, I probably will be streaming. Uh, probably uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies Chronicles or maybe some Injustice 2 because I actually got uh, Injustice 2 like a couple days ago. I actually streamed the full story mode. If you guys you know want to check out my Twitch channel, the link will be down in the description, of course. And uh, anyways, I uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic, wonderful day, night, evening, whatever. Night and evening are the same thing, but fuck it. But <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Peace out.